welcome back again to my channel today i am going to uh, talk about class a to class b networking what a class a to class b networking means it basically nothing but a networking between two different networks having one having a class a network that is a uh, subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 and a class b and another network having a class b uh, subnet mask that is 255.255.0.0.0 .255 okay for that i will be requiring a uh, 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 router i will be using a generic router here generic router uh, the the purpose of using a generic router i will tell you later okay uh, i am using a generic router uh, as two switches first one and uh, second one here okay then I will be uh, using some end devices. Now I will be connecting these devices with a straight copper wire. Uh, you can select any port, any fast ethernet cable. Uh, I am uh, not selecting this 0 1 uh, because I will be connecting this with the router Uh, sorry, uh, sorry for the inconveniency. I have uh, now I have realized that I have to use the switch also a generic switch. So I have to delete this also. So I am going for a generic switch. And one more generic switch here. Okay. So I have connected the end devices and the switches. Uh, as you can see that uh, uh, this, the, the, the lights are going green that means that uh, they have been assigned and this is the, uh, those with the uh, red are uh, going are on the way for assigning okay so now for uh, connection between a switch and a router I will be using a fiber optic cable okay for that I have to select this port that is full uh, fast ethernet 4 by 1 and 4 by 0 okay As the switches, uh, as our router is not on, uh, for that we have to configure it. Uh, so I am. Uh, uh, so let us see how to configure a router again. Okay. First, I have to configure these uh, uh, end devices. For that, I have to go for the desktop, and I have to give the IP address of ten point one giving an IP address of class A that is 10.1.1.1 okay it will automatically give me the uh, subnet mask that is this thing and it will automatically get saved so there is no save option similarly here okay this desktop go 10.1.1.2 uh, okay similarly I will be assigning uh, uh, the PC third third PC that is desktop taker 10.1.1.3 point three and it will automatically save okay so now uh, it's time for the router on the left side that is router fast Ethernet as this cable has been connected with fast ethernet as 10.1.1.4 I will be giving the IP address to this fast ethernet ok so let me first on it and now 10.1.1.4 ok sorry fast ethernet 4 10 point one point one point point four. 
generate the IP address and go to settings and save it so as we can see here it is on and it is on the way of assigning it is in orange and it is been assigned okay similarly I will be giving the IP address to this uh, class B another network with uh, class B say 172.16.1.1 it will give me the subnet mask okay so this is how we can configure uh, we can configure the remaining two and uh, similarly the router okay after con uh, configuring we will get uh, we will get this that uh, we have co I have configured that uh, the 10.1.1.4 on the uh, for class A network and for 17.1.1.4 uh, 172.16.1.4 for class P network okay so <coughs> uh, now another, a main important thing is that we have to assign a gateway also okay that is why uh, for every end device we have to go to desktop IP configuration and have to assign a gateway gateway means the IP address that this router has uh, contains okay uh, so uh, for a recap i have given this as 10.1.1 uh, 1.1 okay similarly 10.1.1.2 and 10.1.1.3 and here from for this side i have given in the router that 10.1.1.4 similarly 172.16.1.1 sorry uh, 4 and 172.1.1 sorry uh, 3 